Hi, I'm Michael Ullman, owner of Ullman Precision Products, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Titan Power Checkering Machine, the tools that you'll receive when you purchase one, and the basic functions of the tool. When you purchase a Titan Power Checkering Machine, you're going to receive a few wrenches. The first will be a 35 thousandths wrench, which holds two screws in here that retain a spring and plunger for the lines per inch adjustment. If you're doing a fixed lines per inch and in production checkering, you can screw these down completely and lock it in so that the adjustment won't be changed. But if you're doing a variety of lines per inch, you'll leave it as set from the factory and then you'll be able to checker from 16 to 32 lines per inch. The next tool that you'll receive is a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. This is for the retention screw that holds the collet in place. If you need to remove or tighten the collet, you'll first need to remove this tension screw. In order to do that, you need to put a screwdriver into the slot at the bottom of this bearing. Hold the two together, insert this and remove this screw. Then take the supplied collet wrench and either tighten or loosen the collet as needed. Next, you'll get a sixteenth of an inch Allen wrench. This is for the arbor and is for assisting installing or removing a wheel. Simply put the Allen wrench into the hex hole at the end of the arbor, slide the wheel over, and thread it on in a clockwise motion. Just snug it up as the wheel tightens itself as it's checkering. Next, you need to know a few of the functions of the tool. First is the guide. The guide follows your master line and every line after that as it cuts lines per inch on your checkering job. This adjustment screw here is for the depth of the guide. You want your guide to come to just about the bottom of your wheel, but you can adjust it accordingly depending on how deep you want the wheel to cut. Last is your lines per inch adjustment knob. This moves the guide back and forth. Turning it clockwise widens your lines per inch and counterclockwise narrows your lines per inch. We're now ready to install the Titan into your power source. The Titan is set up to run pneumatically or off of an electric motor. Simply screw it together and then take the supplied spanner wrench, insert it into this hole and just snug it up. Now if you need to send your Titan or if you have a JNR engineering head in for repair, you can simply remove the, the, the Titan here at this point and send that in for repair. That's all we need. We're now ready to set up the lines per inch. Okay, so now that we're set up and ready to checker, we need to adjust our lines per inch. The adjustment for the lines per inch is made with this wheel right here. Turn it clockwise to widen your lines per inch or turn it counterclockwise to make your lines more narrow. Once you get it close, you'll want to measure it to precisely be where you need to be. To do that, take a scrap piece of wood, scribe a line, and then just cut a few lines into it. Once you take your, once you've got a few lines, I like to use a thread pitch gauge that measures the lines per inch. Simply insert it in there and adjust accordingly. Again, right to widen it or, or counterclockwise to narrow it. Now we're setting up for 22 lines per inch and this is right on the money already, so we are ready to begin checkering.